Are the winning team. Well, okay, don't they? <laughs> Thank you. Thank right, you. Um, what's the feeling like back to the national team? Yeah, I'm uh, very happy. Like always, always when I'm coming back to the national team, it's a, it's a big honor for me, and I'm, I'm happy to be here. All right now, there's competition, right? Um, the status of who's number one is still very unclear. But well, you know, there are two goalkeepers. Um, there's um, yourself, there's Stanley Wambali, and there's Amaso Basegi back in the fold as well. Um, competition, what does it mean for you? Yes, uh, competition is, is, is good. It's good for, 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 for every athlete. Um, but uh, I also know my, know my place at the moment in the Super Eagles. So I'm, I'm respecting what Mwabali has done for, for, for the country and in the, in the AFCON. And uh, I'll, I'll be patiently waiting and working out, and then uh, we'll see what, uh, what time will bring. As a player, playing for a national team, talk to us about changes with who's coach and how that affects the psychology of players, looking at the fact that each of these coaches come with their own system. Yeah, um, of course it's, it's, uh, it's not easy when you, when you change around too much, um, but we are very familiar with, uh, with uh, Augustine and uh, we are happy that he's back and um, yeah, we know him, all of us uh, know him already. And uh, so it's, it, w it will be nothing new. We are familiar with his work, and um, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to train again under him. All right, now, um, with Augustin, is it anything different in terms of the training tactics and how excited are you particularly? Do you trust, do you trust him and his methods? Yes, yes, yes. Do you think yes. he'll work for the national team? Looking at what's at stake, the afternoon qualifiers. Yeah, um, no, of course. Um, every every coach has his, uh, his 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 own his own uh, philosophy and his own uh, his own training and playing style. Um, but yeah, we all believe in uh, Augustine. You know, we did uh, before, and now when he's coming back, we will do it again. And uh, we have to work together, 
yeah, uh, we have to follow also what he's uh, advising us and telling us. So, um, yeah, it's up to us together. Yes. Um, you just signed a contract extension with Udinese in the yes. Italian City. Um, last season was quite a season for you. Yes. Breakthrough as it were. Yes. Um, what's the projection like, and what's the future for you in Europe? Yeah. Um, first of all, I'm uh, I'm grateful and thankful for the for the for the opportunity Udinese gave me. Um, and uh, of course, I'm very happy with the uh, with the contract extension. I think it's. It's uh, yeah, it's something uh, a club can give you when you are when you're doing well, and I'm happy that they that they offered me that, and I'm happy to stay um, at Udinese because I'm feeling home there. I'm uh, I'm, I'm very connected to the fans, and uh, yeah, we have big plans this season. Okay, um, uh, one from me. Okay, yeah, you have uh, had about some old set hands like uh, Vincent uh, Niyama and the rest of them. Um, I've never really been uh, in, in personal contact with them. Uh, I've I had, uh, I had the honor and the, the privilege to, to see to see Vincent uh, one time. Um, but yeah, I would love to, of course, talk more to, to the legend of, 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 of our country. Vincent and Yama, growing up, uh, yeah, was uh, was the, was the Nigerian hero and. Um, uh, it would be an honor and a pleasure to, 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 to talk to him. Okay. It's good to have you here in New York. What, what, what is your expectation for tomorrow, Friday, Saturday's game? Yeah, we expect uh, tough opponents. We know that it's not easy to, to, to play here in Africa. The, any game is, uh, is difficult and uh, we have to be well prepared and uh, very focused to, to get the job done because these are important games. No doubt. Yeah. Um, Get a role, that's that's a familiar yes. familiar coach. Yes. Um, he almost has inside knowledge about every single player in the team, apart from maybe a few yes. additions. Um, is that something you and your teammates are worried about, or is that an extra motivation to want to go out there and show Ghana maybe a thing or two has changed about the national team? Um, yeah, like you said, uh, we are familiar also with him. Uh, I. I I made my debut uh, under Ghana draw, so it's uh, it's very special to to. Stand now on the other side and uh, play against him and against his side. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that uh, Augustine will prepare us very well, and um, that's why there's no fear. Uh, but uh, yeah, for sure, Gennard Raw knows uh, knows a lot about us and um, maybe has his plans. But uh, we'll be ready and uh, get the victory. All right now, finally, so what's your message to Nigerians, the fans, as you build up to Friday and of course Tuesday's game? That we need them, that we have to do this all together, and um, yeah, that we that we that we give them the victory they want and also deserve, and uh, that we are all in this together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. All right. Um, back with the national team. What's it feeling like? Um, I'm excited. Um, I'm really happy to be here. grateful to God for this opportunity, and yeah, to always uh, to be called up is always exciting for me. Right now, um, how's acclimatizing with the camp, and what's the reception from the Yeah, it's a good reception. So it's, a, it's a lot of great guys, you know, and yeah, I'm enjoying my moment here. And I'm in New York, so I also feel at home because I've been here for a couple of years before. So yeah, I'm really happy to be back here. Right now, um, let's talk about the task ahead. Um, there's been a public and there's also Rwanda. Um, how's preparations for that, and psychologically? How ready are you for that fight? Uh, I think um, we we prepared. Um, we're still preparing, but I think uh, mentally we're prepared because um, I think uh, it's a new chapter for all of us. Um, it's a new game, and I think um, right now we're just focused on the game on Saturday, and hopefully we bring smiles to the Nigerians. No, no. Uh, personally, for you, there's real competition uh, for starting bet. Captain William Trinskong returns to the team. There's Semi Ajay as well in that for this. Calvin Basu can play centre back. Benjamin Tamu can also play there. Um, how are you taking that competition? And how ready are you? I think it's a healthy competition. Um, there's a lot of great players. Obviously, our captain is there, and um, I think uh, no matter who's starting on on Saturday, I think we all have one goal, which is to win and um, yeah, get to the Afcon 2025. So I think that's our priority right now. Right now, uh, your skipper in South Africa, you seem to have settled so well into African football. Right. Um, 
comfortable here? Are you looking forward to more? No, I'm, I'm obviously I'm happy where I am, but um, obviously I'm open to any opportunity which comes my way. Um, and I think um, I have a good relationship with the club and they know what I want also and what they want. So I think uh, yeah, we're in a very good space right now and I think yeah, hopefully something good comes up. We're trying, we've presented our plan for the country with the, His Excellency the Governor, uh, who accepted the plan. Uh, I think that was uh, 18,000 school books in total that we've provided now. So there's a lot of things going on and we're taking it step by step. Um, but the first phase of making a direct impact, I think we were quite successful. Um, and then the stuff about the academy and the sporting aspect is more of a long-term project because you need to source the land, uh, find the right place, then you need to build uh, the infrastructure. So it's not something that can be happening in, in months' time. That will probably be uh, some years' work, but it's, it's still on the, on the agenda. So nothing's changed and we're moving forward with that. Uh, yeah, very happy. It's always a privilege and honour to be here. So uh, I worked very hard the last month to become fit again. Um, I was fit again in May. Um, I wasn't with the team in June, so I was supporting them from far. Um, and uh, yeah, afterwards, busy summer, played uh, some games again with uh, Pauk, my old team for the Champions League qualification. Then I made my transfer to Saudi Arabia. So it's been busy, I haven't been sitting still, uh, but I'm feeling fit and I'm very happy to be back here with the team. We talk about the African qualifiers a lot more, but now let's talk about that move to Saudi Arabia, right? Um, I know you, you had a lot of offers, right? There's always money in Saudi Arabia. That's what people always talk about. But beyond money, what's the attraction of Saudi Arabia? You know, you see some of the the best players in the world going to Saudi Arabia now. Um, they've invested a lot of football there. Um, and yeah, like I said, sometimes you get an opportunity that's too uh, too good to turn down. And for me, at this time in my career, uh, I'm going to be 31. Oh, I've been 31 now, so um, this year. So it's uh, yeah, it's time to think about what I've done so far, uh, and also think about my my future, my family, uh, my legacy, and um, yeah, to play in a league where I'm playing with uh, Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, you name them, the stars that are there, uh, Benzema, you name it. So. It's a, it's a privilege, and um, yeah, I will do my best to uh, to make sure that I do my that I do well there. Right now, um, the last half on field under Jose Pizarro. Now there's a change, right? As a player, psychologically, how does that affect you? And do you trust Osen to lead the squad to after next year? Of course, we trust him 100%. He's uh, he's like for us, like a family member returning back to the family, someone that we know very well. Um, like I said, also the responsibilities with the players. So. Uh, um, yeah, well, it's uh, it's now we have a um, a new um, leader, captain of the ship. But I think for us the mission stays the same, um, and I think the the the, the players feel um, uh, yeah trust him a lot and feel comfortable with him. So I'm um, yeah looking forward to getting to work now. We had a very good training session yesterday, and I'm looking forward to the game on Saturday. Right now, the last time we met Bennett, the pitch is away from home, right? So this is home now, and you're quite familiar with Gannon Raw. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something you talk about among your teammates and how ready you for that fight? Considering the fact that he knows almost everybody and their strength. Yeah, I mean, I think almost everybody knows our players. We have some of the best players in the world. We have people watch them week in, week out. So I think it's hard to surprise anybody because everybody knows uh, where good players are, how they're doing. So, uh, yeah, it's a different challenge because obviously Gana Raw work with us um, closely. Um, but that's also some years ago now already. Things have changed. I think the team's developed. And, um, yeah, let them come here. Uh, I hope they feel very comfortable and we'll be looking forward to Saturday. Right, so what's your message to the Rio fans and the Nigerian fans ahead of this Afghan qualifier? Uh, I can only say thank you. I think uh, the support has been unwavering. Um, for us, it's always very special to play in Nigeria. For me, it's very special to play here in Uyo. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the game on Saturday. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you.